Hi and welcome back to a new video, also a new week vlog because there are a lot of things we want to do in this week, also a lot of different projects I'm working on, different products. We will finally have the OC frame available, well the contact frame we're going to call it. Um, that will be available from this week, so we're working still on that. And a lot of different projects we're working on for different videos. Talking about different projects, I've been looking for this board for about two or three years now. This one is broken, that's why I cannot use it, but I'm looking for an EVGA 790i digital PWM. And only that version, like nothing else, because the digital PWM will be important. And if anybody out there has this board, is willing to sell it, please contact me because I need this for a retro project I want to do finally this year. I already wanted to do it last year, but I just cannot find this very specific model. Yeah, that would be amazing. Okay, so let's continue with the video. But before we get to that, a word to the sponsor of today's video, which is again Hetzner. Because Hetzner is running a special offer right now with no setup fee for AX servers. Those are the servers which are featuring AMD Ryzen desktop CPUs. For example, the AX41, which is using the Ryzen 5 3664 GB of memory. Using this one, you would save $40 and you would save $108 if you have the AX101, which is featuring the 5950X 16 core AMD Ryzen with 128 GB of ECC memory and dual 3.84 TB NVMe drives. As usual, everything will come with the Hetzner Premium services such as Gigabit Connection and no minimum contract period. Find out more in the link in the description below. Right now it's Tuesday evening like 9.30 pm and I'm just building a test system inside this Corsair 5000T. This is a video which will go up on the Corsair Germany YouTube channel because I'm once in a while also producing videos for them. And yeah, that's just what happens. Whenever I have a case here on my desk, then always Sheik occupies this and says, yeah, perfect cat bed. Doesn't even care. I'm not sure what you guys think about this topic, but for me, like those wires, no matter what you do, how hard you try, it always ends up looking like crap. In this system, I'm using an RM850 PSU and it also only comes with those dual PCI Express cables. And this is a RTX 3080 non-TI, which has three times eight pin connectors. And yeah, that's also the reason why I have the fourth in here. But yeah, no matter how hard you try, it always ends up not looking nice. I think I have to yeah, find a solution for this in the future. It's now Wednesday and Trotec just arrived. That's the company where we bought the fiber laser from, which we will need for engraving some of our parts. Yeah, I'm very happy that this uh, thing is finally here. On the table, as you can see, the ruler all of these boxes have been signed by me as well. Yeah, took also one or the other minute. And we just prepared all the shipping boxes as well right here. So if everything works out, by the time this video goes online, all of these should already be on the way. It's actually been a few days. Uh, we're still working on our 12 gen contact frames. Now changed from manufacturing the, like the insides, the internals from the back. Now trying to get the top side. These still require a few additional steps like the sandblasting and anodizing and all these kind of steps like laser engraving. Yeah, still a good amount to go, but we should have them available in like one or two weeks. We finally managed to set up our laser cutter unit. Thanks for the annoying beep in between. But also a few days ago, you might have seen the O11 Dynamic Evo video which we published and in that video I also pointed out that we want to have some kind of like acrylic standoff for the graphics card as support against the sagging. So I just want to laser cut that right now. That's the part from Coral Draw, just very simple. Now adjusting the focus length and the height. We will use this black material. This thing is actually to get the perfect focus point will be attached to here and whenever it reaches the bottom you have the perfect focus length. In the end it's just a functional part. 
let's see if this fits the way I intended. Straight attached our acrylic brackets to the VGA. Looking from this angle, I think it looks quite nice. From the sides, from the front, I think it's okay because it's a shiny type of black acrylic. I wish I had transparent acrylic here right now, but I don't. Yeah, which is a bit of a pity, but yeah, it's still better than the second card. It's also something that's still missing on VGAs. There is unfortunately not really a universal solution that works everywhere. I'm glad that there are at least those uh, two M3 threads on the card, which you can use for this purpose. But yeah, temperatures on this will certainly be great. Thanks, Sheik. She's enjoying her new cat bed right now. <laughs> yeah, um, I think Sheik is already looking forward uh, to her new partner because we are getting a second cat. Yeah. <laughs> because even though I really love Sheik so very much deep down from my heart, she can be really annoying at night. Like 2 a.m. in the night, like 6 a.m., like maybe 3 a.m. in the night. She always demands to play with her, then she wants to have new food, and she wants, I don't know, to be pet. But then, yeah, over a long time period, that's really exhausting. And I hope that with the second cat, she has somebody to play with, and this could be a lot better in the future. Also, because she's not really home alone often, because most of the time I'm home or Cora is home, but then, yeah, if she's home alone, then I think it's more enjoyable for a cat to have somebody to play with. We're picking up the little kitten here in Berlin, but even though it's the same city, Berlin is quite huge, so we have to drive over an hour, and I hope that, uh, yeah, she will make it on the way back, especially because, yeah, I think she never drove in a car so far, so it could be quite interesting how she manages and, yeah, handles this. There she is, but I think <laughs> she's not enjoying the box. I think <laughs> she doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> Hello, Yep, this is Dines. I guess now it's finally time to relax a little bit as well. So as you can see, it's like 6 p.m. Friday, back at Grizzly. <laughs> Just ignore those screws, but yeah, as you can see, we have a hole in the floor because there are some things we want to do in our production hall. We will redo the entire floor in this area because we are planning to buy an additional machine, an additional CNC machine by the end of this year, like a huge one. And the floor which we have right now is not capable of carrying the weight which we have here currently. So yeah, we had to do like a, a test drill to get some information about the current concrete and then we'll have to update this. But one good news is we are finished with the first batch of our CPU frames for the 12th gen, which also means that probably next week I will be able to shoot a video about these and show you exactly what these are for and how you can use them to improve CPU thermals. And this thing is actually the reason why I came here like right before the weekend because I wanted to pick this acrylic piece up for testing over the weekend. 
If everything works out, we will be able to provide this as like an STL file for 3D printing. Should be a nice additional tool for our OC frames, but yeah, probably more info, I guess, end of next week. The good thing is she's already drinking quite a lot. It's good for cats. Well, yeah. I think they still have to debate who's the boss in the house. I think Sheik has a pretty clear <laughs> image of that so <laughs> even though this might look harsh it's definitely not I mean that's the typical thing cats are doing As I said before, even though this might look harsh, like getting two cats to work together or to kind of form a friendship, it's always a bit tricky and there's like no patent to do that. And uh, because every cat is different and like the first two days, we separated them quite much. Like they only had few minutes to first get to see each other and uh, maybe like sniff a little bit and uh, yeah see if they can get along and then we separated them again for almost the entire day then the second day they got to know or like see them see each other a bit more and then you just extend this even further and see how they react because as i said before every cat is different i think it's on a pretty good road because it's getting less and less bitching <laughs> getting better i think and maybe in like a week they decided who's the boss in the house I'm pretty sure Sheik already decided that in the first minute. Then I found something quite interesting on uh, eBay Germany for 80 euros. Somebody pointed me on this over, over Instagram. I was a bit surprised to be fully honest because this is supposed to be a notebook which was used in the Stargate production. Like a notebook that's sitting in the background where you have some kind of like nicely designed animations or graphics in the background and this was listed for 80 euro which i thought is ridiculously low considering if this is real or not but yeah we will we will find out <laughs> oh. okay so no battery, maybe you just removed it for shipping. Seems to work fine, even though this thing is, I don't know, like 18 years old, something like that, should be from around 2005, using Intel Celeron M, same as that's listed on here, Windows XP. Also, the screen seems to be a little bit weird, has like a very dark center for whatever reason. There's only one angle, like directly from the center, where you don't have this like dark stripe in the center, but yeah, it should be okay. And you can see on the desktop, Stargate Atlantis and main sequence. Wow, I'm completely amazed about the information that I found in the notebook. It's insane. There's six gigabyte of animations and like graphics design, everything on there. Yeah, completely amazed. I'm not sure if that's already somewhere accessible in public or not. I didn't find any information about the stuff that I found on there and that's why I'm first also like backupping the data on a USB drive which is taking quite a long time because it's 6 GB of data and this is only I think USB 1 or 2. There is just an insane amount of data in here. There are like several folders where you can just enter these folders and then you have different kind of animations so like power level generation for example or generator maybe. And then you open it and then you always end up in some kind of animated slides where you can sometimes also yeah so if you press 
like a number, then it's going to a different animation. So I guess it's like a broken. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Then there's also this like main sequence, which seems to be a little bit bigger. So you have also have like a sub menu. Let's just go to control. Can cycle through different things. That is amazing. That is completely insane and amazing. If we enter the what they call lock, then you can cycle through some of the other sheets and then that's quite interesting because if you go to this one, we have like a personal list and then there is rank, kernel, name, Shane Whitehouse. And Shane Whitehouse is a graphics designer who did a lot of stuff for Stargate animations. I guess this could be his work and he somehow entered his name like as Colonel Shane Whitehouse. That's quite cool. After doing a bit more research, I found exactly this model and also the scene where some of these animations were used in season four, episode one. It's exactly this type where McKay, that's the scientist who's working on the things, where he's working on a notebook like this. It's exactly the same model, but it's absolutely impossible for me to tell if this is the actual thing that was used or if it's just a replica, like somebody bought it and put the animations on it. That's absolutely hard to tell, but I still enjoyed going through these animations and um, yeah, they're very amazing. Apart from that, uh, Sheik and Makita, by the way, her name is Makita. That's a famous brand here in Germany for like drills. And because in one of the earlier scenes where Sheik and Makita were fighting, when Makita is grumbling, it sounds exactly like when my neighbor is drilling in the wall with his Makita. And that's why she's called Makita now. And uh, they're getting, a they're getting along very well now. There were also some moments where Sheik was petting Makita and everything. And yeah, I think they will be good friends from now on. At least I hope so. We will keep you updated on that. And I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. See you soon. Bye bye.